Hey Mustangs, welcome back to another episode of The Spill. It's Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. I'm your host, Riley Green, and I'm here with Kristen Anderson. On this episode of The Spill, we'll be reporting on a cold techno concert, an upcoming meeting, and measles. Stay tuned for the latest. news 30 people in France are being treated for hypothermia at an outdoor techno music festival after some unexpected snowfall left a lot of people under survival blankets two people were taken to the hospital after the snow turned the festival camping experience into an endurance test the unauthorized Te technoval 2019 festival held about 10,000 people um, and none of them were prepared for the chilling temperatures that swept through the area it got to about negative three Celsius technoval is an un unauthorized electronic music festival that is held annually at a secret location that's that's revealed at the last minute and police tried to stop this year's edition but they only succeeded in stopping a few trucks holding some equipment in national news china's top economic advisor lu he will arrive in the u.s on thursday for trade discussions with the president despite fears he might cancel after president trump threatened to escalate tariffs over beijing's technology ambitions tensions between the two countries arise from china's plan for government-led development of global competitors in robotics electric cars and other technologies the united states europe japan and other trading partners say this violates china's open marketing market open commitments and are partially based in stolen technologies because of this, Washington and Beijing are currently involved in a tariff war, raising tariffs on billions of dollars worth of each other's exports, disrupting everything, disrupting trade on everything from soybeans to medical equipment. The discussions expected to happen on Thursday will try to resolve these issues and find a middle ground for both nations to trade on. In local news, two more cases of measles have been identified in East Tennessee. The new cases are linked to the measles case confirmed two weeks ago in Chattanooga. <coughs> the state has not given out which city the two new cases are in. Prior to these cases, Tennessee only had 15 cases of measles in the last decade because of the high vaccination rate. The number of reported cases for the disease are at the highest levels in the past 25 years, with a total of 704 cases this year in the U.S. Authorities are encouraging people to stay up to date with their vaccinations to help prevent this disease from spreading further and endangering more people. And now after the break, Rally brings us a new release. Stay tuned. <laughs> For our top story today, two journalists from international news organization Reuters have been released from a Myanmar jail after over 500 days of imprisonment. Wallon and Kiao so U were convicted in December 2017 for violating Myanmar's Official Secrets Act when they reported on a massacre of Rohingya civilians. The pair also received a 2019 Pulitzer Prize for international reporting for the same story. They said they were set up by a police officer posing as a source. Told to go to a secret meeting on the outskirts of the city to receive classified documents, they were arrested on the spot once the information was in their possession. Since their conviction, there has been international pressure for their release, which finally came as part of an amnesty of more than 6,500 prisoners by the country's president. The trial of the two men was also seen as a sort of litmus test for free speech and press in Myanmar, seeing how far the country will go to protect the democratic rights of journalists. That's all for your news today. Now for your Walker Valley announcements. Senior's last day is the 16th. Be sure to wish your senior friends well and try not to 
and try not to be jealous that they get to leave earlier than you. Underclassmen, get out on the 22nd and we're counting down the days. That's all for your school announcements. Now for your pop culture news. Hey Mustangs, it's Chris. And it's Ashlyn. Today is Wednesday, May 8, 2019. Today's weather well, is partially cloud with a 20% chance of rain. Right now the temperature in the valley is 64 degrees with your humidity percentage resting at 56. Your high for today is 86 and your low is 63. That's all for our Walker Valley Weather Report. Now back to the studio for your pop culture news. See you guys. Bye. What's up, Walker Valley? I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Brittany. And we're here to give you the latest pop culture news. Tool gave fans a sneak peek of some new music they will be releasing at the Welcome to Rockville Music Festival. The songs are titled Invincible and Descending and are more than likely part of their new untitled album, which will be the first from Tool in over a decade. The Met Gala was Sunday, and as usual, we had a combination of good and bad fashion choices. Stars that attended included Lady Gaga, Shawn Mendes, Harry Styles, who, who was also one of the five total co-hosts, co Natasha Leone, and Jared Leto, whose accent was a piece of a replica of his own head. Yesterday, another, another new Spider-Man Far From Home trailer has been released, showing everyone's favorite friendly neighborhood superheroes swinging into theaters July 2nd. That's all for your exciting pop culture news today. Now into your sports with Chris Amico. Hello, I'm Kevin Glover, and we're back with questions of the week. Today, we're going to be going down the NBA hallway. Let's see how that goes. to be like okay like okay. we ask the question then you're surprised and then you think about it for a bit is it and gonna then you make me uncomfortable <laughs> uh maybe if you had one week to live what would you do and why i'd probably just do everything uh that i've always wanted to do you know just like uh drive a whole, whole bunch of cars and live my life party and stuff like that you know how do you afford all those things <sighs> probably just steal all the money for it so you condone stealing when you're about to die? Yes. I would travel the world as much as possible. Um, I'd go to try to make it to all the different continents. And I would try to graduate from high school at least and see a bunch of like famous people like while I'm traveling the world and go to concerts. Yeah. I don't think you could graduate and travel at the same time. I mean, when I'm on the plane, like, I can take the GED thing, you know, <laughs> get a decent ACT score. I think, I think it would be okay. <laughs> All right. How would you get the money for uh, flying around the world? Um, I'd probably just pull out of my college savings. All right. Um, if I had one week to live, I probably would go to the beach, and I might do illegal things just because I would have a week to live so I could do whatever and still maybe get away with it. I don't know. That's what I would do. So you would commit crimes because yeah, you but, have... But I wouldn't kill anyone. Like, I think that's terrible. But, like, I'm not 21 yet, but I'd probably still drink. And I don't know. Ooh, um, something exciting. I'd conquer my fears. Probably go skydiving or something like that. Is that it? What other things would you do? Spend some time with my family because, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. I'd want to spend my final moments with my family. So, that's what I'd do. <laughs> that's, that's so sweet. Nobody has said that yet. You know, I try to be better than everyone else. It's, it's your turn. That's how it works. I was going to say something like right, that. Okay. <laughs> what? Well, you can say the same thing. I mean, but okay. you'll just be similar. copying off of him. Be similar to his. Okay. How about you? I'd stop going to school. Cause I got one. Cause if they, cause if I have one week to live, there's no point of going to school. That is true, but like, what would you do when you're not going to school? Uh. Uh. <laughs> just continue playing video games till I die. 
You know what, that sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. What would you do? I would probably, <laughs> can I take this? I, I would. <laughs> no one's done that so far. No one's just taken it out of my hand. <laughs> I would probably travel the world and also travel with my family and friends because that's what's important. Where do you get the money to travel? <laughs> just somehow I'd fundraise or something. There's always something. All right. Thank you, too. Also, do you have a question suggestion? I'd probably sleep. For a whole week? Yeah. Of course. But you'll be sleeping afterwards. Well, yeah, but sleep is important. Sleep is important? Yeah. Yeah. That's your answer? Yeah. Okay. Sleep is important, guys. Even when you have one week to live, just sleep all day. Yeah. What's up, Mustangs? I'm Chris, I'm with my co-host, Nico, and we're here today to give you your daily sports news. Zion Williamson is still the number one prospect, prospect for the NBA draft. There are many lottery teams that the fans think could unleash his maximum potential. Hopefully, the team that he goes to will benefit his career. Giannis Antetokounmpo had 39 points, 16 rebounds, and 4 assists with 113 to 100 win, or 101 win over Boston. They have taken a 3-1 lead. P.J. Tucker tells reporters that he is currently living his dream. Surprisingly, his dream isn't just playing in the NBA. It is actually guarding Kevin Durant. The Houston Rockets got the win last night over Golden State Warriors to tie the series 2-2 with the final score being 112 to 108. Harden had 38 points with four assists with 10 rebounds and shot 13 for 29 the field goal and 6 for 17 three-pointer percentage. That's all for our show today. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at TheSpillTV. I'm Nico. And I'm Chris. Have a great day and thanks for watching.